everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we're back with a arteza show and tell yeah so the folks over at arteza of course got a hold of me and asked me if i would like to show you guys something new something crazy something cool and i was like uh yes there is something i want to show you guys so after my last cricut video i did with the canvases i was asked can you use permanent vinyl on the canvas of course you can so I went ahead and asked Arteza if they would send me out some of their canvas panels. Now, this is different than a, a actual artist canvas. And I'll show you the difference once we open this up. We're going to make two different projects. We're going to do one with permanent vinyl and then one with uh, iron on. So these are cotton uh, canvases. So they're 100% cotton. And of course, these artist canvases are made for you to paint with. Now, as you guys know, um, I can paint. I'm just not a big painter. So that and I like to find new and creative ways to do things. Like I like to think outside of the box. So let's get into this. And as you guys know, I am an affiliate with Arteza and I do have a special discount code, which is always linked down in the description box of my videos. I try to keep it updated um, so that you guys can get those discounts whenever you're filling your creative niche happen and you would like to go over and check out Arteza. Now, I do like the fact that they have them all individually wrapped in plastic. So that's really cool. And these are nine by 12. So they're a pretty decent size. And so this is what is an artist panel. Now the panel is because it's flat. It's flat like a piece of paper. Whereas artist canvas, which I have one here, looks like this. And on the back you see the wood where it has been stretched over the wood and then um, stapled in. And then you have that soft section there in the middle and then uh, the hard sections on the side. So that's how this is different. That and it's bigger. This is also a black canvas. So they do have white, black and white vinyl, or vinyl, black and white canvas uh, panels over at Arteza. I asked for the black one because if you guys didn't know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I decided let's do something with breast cancer awareness. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an iron-on and a uh, permanent vinyl of a breast cancer ribbon on these. And I think it's gonna look fantabulous because the dark color and then that bright pink, yes! So, first things first, we have to get this plastic off of it because, you know, we can't do nothing with the plastic. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Hope you're doing something creative. So let's see here. So we have our black canvas panel. Now, what you could do is if you wanted this to be white, one, you can order the white canvas panels, or you can take white vinyl and cover this. Um, but because I want it to be black, I'm gonna keep it black. So the two pinks that I have that we're gonna use are this very pretty neon fluorescent pink glitter iron-on. And then we have this dark, deep pink uh, red permanent vinyl, or red, pink permanent vinyl. Um, so what I'm going to do is, so I'm not boring you half to death. The pattern I'm using, I'm going to have pop up on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and cut these with the Cricut. I am using uh, the Cricut Maker to do this, uh, just because it's the machine that I have hooked up right now. Um, I'm going to use the Cricut to make this. And that noise you're hearing is the cricket warming up. So, uh, which I just noticed that there's something on the side of it over here. So I'm going to have it cut it. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you how to apply it to your canvas. So I hope you guys are ready to see this because this is going to be so cool. So hang on one second. All right. Now that we have our designs cut out, we have the ribbon here, which you might not be able to see from where you're at. But I have the ribbon here. And then we have our other design here. Um, and one way you can tell the difference between iron-on and permanent vinyl or removable vinyl. Removable vinyl or permanent vinyl will have paper on the back of it. Um, the back of it here is like this. Uh, it, it looks like a milky white color. 
and that's how you can tell whether which one is iron on and which one is uh, permanent vinyl or removable vinyl. So the next thing you have to do obviously is going to be weed. Now this is going to take some time because of the fact that it is a mandala. A mandala of course is a repeat pattern over and over again. So uh, we're going to go ahead and weed this out. And while I'm doing that, uh, I'll time lapse it so you don't have to sit through the boringness of how long this might take me. So we're going to go ahead and hit that time lapse and I'll see you in a minute. So we have our uh, breast cancer awareness butterfly in the dark pink and then we have our iron-on pink ribbon in the mandala and so then what you're gonna do is now you can use your big easy press if you have a big easy press have at it um, I have the big easy press but I'm not gonna use it for this project I'm actually just gonna use my little small one so I'm gonna make sure it's where I want it at on the canvas which I'm gonna try to center it and that paper is sticky so gonna try to center it here bring it down a little bit because I kind of want it in the center of the canvas and then what you're gonna do I'm gonna take my little mini easy press here I'm just gonna iron over it get it to adhere to the canvas and again this is a hundred percent cotton so you don't want to leave it on there too long and and scorch or burn the canvas because you can do that even though this is in a regular canvas And all I'm going to do is just go back and forth over it. Now with the big one, you just press it on there for about 30 seconds and then you can take it off and it's, it's good to go. But with the easy one or the little one, you're going to want to kind of just glide over it just to make sure you get every section of it to adhere to the canvas. I'm applying a little bit of pressure to it. Now when you're doing this with vinyl, you have to be careful because you can melt the vinyl. So usually I'd tell you to use a Teflon sheet. But we're not going to be adhering anything to vinyl today, just this. So, you just want to make sure you get it on there nice and good. Just going to go back and forth. And like I said, I discovered how to do this because I had asked in a couple of groups on Facebook if this was possible. Because I've seen people paint the canvas and then put uh, vinyl on it. But I didn't know if you could use like permanent vinyl or uh, iron on or anything like that. So when I asked, I didn't get any answers. So I said, forget it. I'm just going to try it. And I've been doing it ever since. So I think that should be good. We're just going to lift this up here. And if at any time when you go to lift this up, you see anything lift up, put it back down. Put the the iron back on it. Now with the bigger iron, you're going to get more coverage, obviously. But since I'm using the little one, I'm just going to 
go back over this section here because this little rainbow spot right here came up. So I'm just going to go over that just a little bit more. And that one little corner right there came up a little bit. So we're just going to put this on there. And it's literally out of pure laziness that I didn't pull out the big one. But, uh, yeah, this is how I do it. I accidentally hit the button. Because the mini easy press has this little button on the top here. And high, medium, or low. Press that button and you're good to go. Now, you got to be careful because you don't want to hit that little button and turn it off while you're in the middle of doing a project. So, that should be nice and adhered to the canvas now. And there you have it, your pink glittery breast cancer awareness ribbon. It doesn't hurt the canvas. You can also, like, if you have, like, white pen or something, you can write little sayings or something in, on the sides or decorate it however you want to with, a, like, white acrylic marker. Or you can, like, write somebody's name on it or, like, a year and a date for someone you know who has fought breast cancer um, or as a memorandum if you want to... Uh, like kind of like a memorial you can also like write the the dates and then like their name or something on it so that's how you would do the iron on now for the permanent essentially it's the same thing now a lot of people ask do you have to seal the permanent vinyl on to get it to stay on no after it's on here for a couple of days it, it will stay on so with this, you're going to need transfer tape because you have to transfer the pattern off of the plastic here onto uh, the canvas. So I'm going to take this. Got to make sure it covers the entire pattern. Smooth it on there. Let's see if I can find my cricket squeegee. I don't know if I can't find it. So we're just going to smooth it on there. Just make sure there's no bubbles or anything in it because you don't want there to be a bunch of bubbles in your design. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. And there's a reason why I left it like this. Now, I've been reusing this same transfer paper for probably about a week now. But the reason I left it the way it is is because I know that whenever I go to put this on, it perfectly shapes the canvas. So I just put it on just like that and it should be nice and centered on the canvas. So... Now what we're going to do is take off the paper off the back because then your design should stick to this transfer tape. So we're just going to slowly peel it back. And I say slowly because you go too fast. You can pull up something that you don't want to pull up, like one of those antenna. So we're going to take that off. And as you can see, just from laying it on there like that, we're going to have one line hanging off the side. So now we're going to flip it around. And this is the important part because you want to make sure that it uh, you want to make sure that it stays on. And something else you can actually do, which is what I'm going to do, we're going to recover this canvas. So I'm going to leave that on the transfer tape, and I'm going to get some uh, I'm going to get some vinyl to recover this. Hold on a second. All right. So essentially, what you want to do is you want to get your vinyl that is going to cover it. Now this is clear vinyl. This is essentially, it's clear so that it will adhere to it. I just remembered, you don't want to try to adhere permanent vinyl to can the cotton canvas itself. Not sure how well that it will stick. So I do have some clear vinyl so I can still see the black. And all I'm doing is measuring it, making sure this is a little bit bigger than the canvas because I have to wrap it around. Um, I do the same thing with diamond painting. It's like a canvas finish. And then we're just going to cut it. And you want to make sure you're cutting it evenly. So there is a level thing on here to make sure I cut it evenly. There we go. And then once you're done cutting it, what I like to do is put this on here just to make sure it's going to measure correctly. Because essentially all this excess is going to fold around the back of the canvas. So like I, I'm not too worried about that being on there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the paper off the back of this clear vinyl. And they do make clear and they do make white vinyl. So, make sure whenever you're ordering uh, white, you check to make sure if it's clear or if it's actually like white, white. I've made, I, I've made the mistake and ordered clear by accident once when I wanted white. Yeah, it wasn't fun. So, 
There's a clear vinyl that you probably can't see because it's clear. We're going to try to center this on the vinyl, which I'm going to turn it this way so I can see it a little bit better. So we're going to center it. Now, what I like to do then is to cut the sides. So to cut the sides, all I do is I go to the edge of where the vinyl is and I cut that little square out. So I just go to the edge here, cut and then cut, pull that, but don't get rid of those side pieces. You're gonna need those and I'll show you why. So we're gonna cut these little squares off the sides here. Cause I still wanna be able to see the black canvas underneath. So. Now, I'm going to take and flip this up, fold it down. Now, if there's any excess on the sides, you can cut that off. So I'm going to just make sure this adheres to it. And this clear vinyl is also permanent. Um, I'm wrapping it around so essentially it touches the back of the canvas and itself. So that if, if it doesn't adhere to the front of it, it, it will at least adhere to... Uh, the back of it and I'm gonna smooth this out because sometimes this gets bubbles in it So you're gonna smooth that out and Then we're just gonna keep folding so we're just gonna fold all the sides up And then this last side and you want to make sure you fold it up nice and neatly so that you don't get bubbles Because they're a pain in the butt to get out of because you want the back of it to be nice and smooth and if you want, you can put a piece of like white vinyl or something on the back to make this double sided. Um, but for right now, I'm just doing this side. And the reason why I told you to hang on to those square pieces that you cut off is because I like to put them at the creases, like where uh, the sides meet to keep them from fraying. So like if something were to happen where uh, that edge piece would start to peel up, having that extra little band-aid on there keeps it from coming up. So for those folks that would worry about it coming up, it's like putting a little adhesive band-aid on it. And that way that part can't fray up so your design can't come off. So there you have it. You can still see the black and it's clear. And then that way you can make sure that your pattern doesn't come off. And we're just going to peel that back again. And we're just going to make sure she's nice and centered. So I don't want her too low, but I don't want her too high. Lay it down flat. That's probably the best I've ever gotten it on there without it like going on by itself and being all crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and smooth that out as best we can. They, now you, you can use like a, a straightener or something on this, but I can't find mine right now. So we're just gonna use our hands. So we're just gonna flatten that out. And essentially you just wanna squeeze out all the air bubbles or anything you might have. And then you're gonna peel this back. Now it's gonna be, it's gonna give you some resistance because it's it's like stickers. So you gotta pull it back just a little bit. Use a little bit of force. Not too much though, cause you don't wanna pull it up. So I'm gonna smooth that on there. Make sure it's all smoothed down. So you just wanna go nice and slow at this so you're not pulling anything up. If you happen that, if you happen to notice that you're pulling something up, pull, put the pl um, plastic back down and smooth it with your finger like this again or with your squeegee. And I'm just going to go over the whole design with my hand. Just to make sure it's all laying down nice and flat. Boom. Now, I don't see the black panels too often. But I do see the white ones. I have a bunch of the white ones in 8x10. They're easier to come by than the black ones are. But there you have it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You guys, I give you all the tools. All you got to do is, is, it ain't nothing to it but to do it. You hear me? So we have our pink glitter vinyl uh, iron on for our breast cancer awareness ribbon. And then we have this beautiful pink butterfly. I plan on making a lot more of these today. So Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Arteza for sending me out the black canvases. I know this is probably not what they were thinking of when I said that I would do something cool with the canvases, but this is another way to use artist canvases. If you are not someone who paints or draws or anything like that and you want a new creative way, 
try spicing up things and, and figuring out new ways you can use stuff like this. Artist canvases are great for a multitude of different things. And so, like, there you have it. Like, I just showed you another way you can use artist canvas. Like, isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. So, th again, I do, I am an affiliate with not only Cricut, but Arteza as well. And both of their affiliate links are down in the description box below of all my videos. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those down in the bottom of the, the, the comment section. And I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Again, thank you to Arteza for sending me out the canvases. I do greatly appreciate it. Um, I absolutely love making these little artist canvases that are all decked out like this with my Cricut. So if you are into the Cricut thing and want a new fun way to spice up some things, try making one of these artist canvases. They're really fun and easy to make. So thank you guys again. And with that said, I got to get out of here. So I must bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Keep your six feet and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool.